Hello, I'm Melanie Berm. I am the Director of External Affairs focused on workforce development and community partnerships at Scottsdale Community College. Hi, I'm Diane Mays. I'm Director of the Maricopa IET Institute, and we serve all the Maricopa Community Colleges standing up short-term training that lead to certification and employment for our students. Both Diane and I are so passionate about Girls Get IT. This was an idea that was conceived back in 2019 to try and support and groom underserved populations to know what's possible for them in the field of IT, particularly young women. This is a group that is grossly underrepresented in the IT uh, field. Let's start with high school young women and bring them to our campuses and get them doing something that impacts them in a way that they walk away saying, I can do that. I can really do that. Looking at the data, nine out of 100 females will pursue a STEM career. Um, but unfortunately, only three out of the 100 will actually stay in the career. And so we knew that we had a lot of work to do. What I tell girls, and this is what I'm very passionate about, Melanie and I both, is I don't care if you come to this event, try every single one of these workshops and you don't like them. At least you made that decision for you and someone didn't make it for you. In 2023, we hosted the fifth annual Girls Get IT Celebration. This particular conference is a day's worth of programming that is set up to integrate young women, professionals in the field, faculty, staff, industry partners from around the community, volunteers, etc. It was huge. We had over 300 people join us on campus for that day of programming. It was smiles from beginning to end. That's one of our goals. Girls Get IT is supposed to be fun. First and foremost, fun. It also is supposed to be an opportunity where titles, schools, grades, all of that gets left at the door. We want you to come in and be you and really enjoy the experience for what it's meant to be. We wanna inspire these young women to understand that truly anything is possible if they dream it, they can do it. Okay, a huge part of the day are the workshops and the workshops are the girls' favorite part. They get to participate in hands-on activities with college instructors and sometimes even industry. They get to work on AI, nanotechnology, programming, um, Photoshop, uh, networking, um, cyber, and they just love it because they're seeing what's out there. In addition to the workshops, the other highlight of the Young Women's Day is the networking lunch. We have uh, a handful of professional women who work in IT sitting at the tables with the young women. It's a great organic way for the girls to learn firsthand what it's like to work in the field of IT. And I think one of the most fun parts about it is that they can ask the hard questions that they might not get to ask in another setting. How much money do you make? What does your day in the life look like? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Those kinds of questions that they might not get in a career day at their school. After lunch, the young women return to their uh, respective schools and all of the IT professionals proceed into what we like to call the think tank session. That is an immersive experience where they again leave their titles and their organizations at the door and they come together to really understand how they can work collectively to level up the the impact of women in the field. Every year I walk around being a former teacher and principal, I'm listening to what the girls are saying. And I hear phrases like, you know, I've never been on a college campus before. This is the first time I've ever been on a college campus. This is the first time I've ever seen one. And I've heard that all five years. This past year, I heard it the most, the most ever. So I believe this recruitment event is really helping people see themselves on the campus. I also heard things like, you know, I was artistic. I'm, I'm an artistic person, so I really didn't think IT was for me, but I just took the 3D animation class and now I realize you can be creative and be in IT at the same time. An event of this scale cannot be done in a vacuum. We have to rely on folks from the Maricopa Community College District across the board. We have to re rely on teachers that are willing to bring their students to this field trip. We have to rely on dis school district administration to approve these kinds of field trips. We also have to rely on volunteers. So this year we had over 60 people volunteer and some of those, those people were from, from community-based organizations and from employer sites. Wells Fargo sent 15 different employees to volunteer at our event. We couldn't put this event on without our generous sponsors in kind and financial. What we have in the future includes things like a scholarship. We have an endowed scholarship that has been launched. 
space and capacity have left it so that we've had to turn away upwards of 100 girls per year. We can't do that. It breaks my heart to tell people they can't be there. So in 2024, a West Valley event is going to be launched and it's gonna have an opportunity to welcome girls from another side of the valley. We're over the moon about it. There's so much traction that the, the possibilities are really endless. Well, we are so ready to take this to the next level. So the comment that resonates with me after our last event is I had a professional woman that came up to me and said, events like these feed our souls. And I agree. Fortunately, Melanie and I have been asked to present nationally on the Girls Get IT model, and we look forward to connecting with those across the US. So we are just overwhelmed with gratitude for the support the um, interest, the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm that comes along with Girls Get IT is palpable. It is something that you just feel that buzz when you come onto campus that day, and it, it literally transcends every person that's walking around this campus. And I think that that is what really drives me to wanna to make this the best every year and bigger every year because we are changing lives one young woman at a time. And so with that, it's time for us to start planning Girls Get IT 2024. We are super excited to see what happens and we hope you'll join us on that journey.